there's no fear of the dark at this farm in eastern Ontario. That's thanks to power generated through the production and processing of methane gas. And there's a steady supply. We knew how much energy is in Monur from uh, past experience. We, we tried a bit in Switzerland to, to make heat out of methane gas. There is about one and a half to two and a half kilowatt hours per cow per day in well-fed dairy cows. So our consume a day is about 450 kilowatt hours. And with our animals, about uh, 250 animals, uh, large animals, times two to two kilowatt hours would be about uh, 400 kilowatt hours. So we, we figured that we would be able to produce our power if the system would run well. Paul and Fritz Clazy arrived in Canada in 1990, armed with the desire to be dairy farmers and to apply their technical knowledge to explore green energy. The Clazy brothers milk 140 head of cows and have 280 head of livestock. 6,000 cubic meters a year of manure is produced. The manure comes out from the cow, goes into the gutter. We run the gutter twice a day, morning and night. The manure goes all around behind the cow and comes up here. This incline goes down in a three-foot pipe. It's no pump, it's gravity fed. And runs out to the digester. The manure is stored for 28 days in the digester. Helpful bacteria naturally present get the process going until the manure is well fermented. Heat is essential to this whole process, especially given cool Canadian winters. The manure has to be kept at around 40 degrees Celsius to have perfect fermentation. So what we did here on this farm we try to build a heat exchanger where we can exchange the warm manure who goes out from the digester with the cold manure who comes in from the barn. What we also do, we use from the milk cooling, we make hot water from the milk that we cool down. We have to cool the milk from 36 degrees down to about 2 to 3 degrees. The fermentation process produces methane, nutrient-rich manure, and ammonia. Manure is comprised of between 40 and 60 percent methane, compared to natural gas, which has a methane content closer to 90 percent. A rubber, rubber-sized tarp on top of that, that works as a storage for our gas. So this bubble is like a balloon, goes up and down. We have a storage room from about 150 cubic meters of gas, if it's full or empty. A full dome represents 250 kilowatt hours of power, which occurs twice a day, every day. Manure is considered to be liquid gold by farmers, and that's doubly true for the Kalesi brothers. As this dome drops, energy is directed to the Hydro One power grid, forcing their electricity bill down. The valve has opened now, and the, uh, here, we have we lose now methane gas because the the balloon is full and we really should start up the generator. <laughs> <laughs> Here the methane gas comes in into the generator. Here we measure the volume of the gas with a meter, and then we go in up here to the turbocharger where the gas gets mixed with air. It goes through the uh, cooler, after cooler of the turbocharger and comes in here into the diesel engine. Now the engine started. This powerful system and some good negotiation has resulted in a net metering agreement with Hydro One for the Clazies. They feed the province's power grid when the generator runs and the farm's not using the energy produced. And here's something you don't see often, a hydrometer running backwards. Paul Clazy sees many pluses to the process. One advantage is usage of the power. Another advantage which we really like is that we, during the summertime we can make the hot water of, in the houses. And we think 
largely we can probably heat the houses with the energy which the heat which comes out of the of the generator and a big part of us of all is the digestion of the manure which really we we like to see that the manure is much more uh, available to the plants and all uh, the bacteria which E. coli and, and so on are gone in the manure. Yeah. The sustained heat also kills weed seeds, a big advantage for any farmer reducing requirements for spraying. So it's value added to value. We are a bit uh, pioneers, I would say. We, we export, imported a lot of stuff from, from Europe. Uh, and we put the system together here ourselves. We have some technical knowledge. Paul has been able to put his experience as an inspector for Hydro Zurich to good use, combined with Fritz's dairy farmer background, as they examine records of energy produced on site since the system's installation. They have reason to smile. It it looks good, but we have also other considerations. I know we spent some money on the system. We knew that the system will work. We are not exactly sure if we can come to a level of zero, but I think we will come very close to it. 